All right, so let's go over a big swing versus shorter swing. All right, so I'm going to blow this up. Let's go over. This is just our trading today. Let's go over yesterday's trading here. There we go. All right, so if you use a longer term time frame, a longer term frame, now this is the DAX, and the DAX, I got settings that I'm going to give you that I use. I use uh, um, the, the DAX hours a little bit different than most markets. So I will give you the market profile settings to put in. Other than that, all the other market profile settings are standard. But this is a nine sim Rinko. And I want to show you the versatility of the software because, you know, if you want less swings, because the DAX is so volatile, you can take a volatile market like this and literally tame it down. And, and th that's a unique thing about this software is that let's say you're a trader and saying, hey, I don't want to scalp the market. I want to position trade the market. Okay, and I want to go on a smaller time frame. But yeah, I'll go down in a second, Reed. I'll, I'll show you in a second. So I, I want to really slow the market down. And I, if I want to slow the market down and I only want to look for uh, um, um, a few swings a day, no, no problem, man, then you go to a longer time frame. All right, so the DAX on a 9-SIM, nine, uh, nine you can see that I take a lot of the wiggle room out because look at the swing low, swing low, swing low, call it swing low yesterday, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high. I mean, literally it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 trades in a row that were correct, right? And then on the previous day, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 swings, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's entire 7, 8, there's one, two, right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So slowing the DAX down like that, that's a volatile market, man. I mean, this, this market is crazy volatile. And, but you can still slow the swings down by going to a longer time frame. Okay, so I'm going to leave that on there for you so you understand. And if you look at over here, if I go, Joe, switch over to the DAX over here with the market profile. All right, Joe, uh, we go over to the DAX uh, market profile. If you go to a longer term profile, also, guys and gals, you'll notice how smooth the market profile is. There we go. So look how smooth the market profile is. It came down, came out the, off, of the, uh, off of the high value area. I mean, not the control point. Came up to the high value area, major resistance at the high value. And look at the Renko bars on longer time frames. You get a nice little smooth Renko bar also. So, you know, that's a nice little short that it's in right now with negative market delta. So if you notice, this last short with negative market delta at 815, look at that negative market delta. It's still negative market delta in the short. It's got a huge short going right now at 815 short. Right? 815 short, negative market delta of negative 35, and she's still right into high value. Look how that matches up. That's how you want to do it. Right there, high value. Right here is your negative market delta. Let me circle that for you. Look at that trade still going. Still going as a runner. Look at this. So it, it came down the control point, bounced for a buy setup, came up to the high value area for resistance. We got the reversal bar. Notice the reversal bar even on the longer term time frame. There's your reversal bar. Big reversal. Like I said, DAX and the S&P is one of my two favorite markets to trade off of a longer term time frame because they really get the swings well. They're very, very accurate with the system. And so you can notice that that is a reversal bar. There's your negative market delta, negative 35. And look at the runner still running. That is a big trade for the DAX. Nice big trade for the DAX all the way down to low value area again. But see, that's the difference is that if you want to take some of the swings out, if you want to take some of the swings out, you just go to a long, long, longer time frame. So those of you that lease the system, just be aware of that. I'm going to give you the settings that I think are the best. Okay? You know, most, most markets are going to be a four or five sim they're going to put on, like crude and gold, five sim. You know, everybody should be running about a five, a four or five on it. Uh, but let's say the NASDAQ futures. Now go over to 
uh, the NASDAQ futures real quick, Gerald. If you use a smaller time frame, look at the signals you're going to get. You're going to get a lot more swings. Why? Because the, what the system does, and I'll just show you how this works, it's measuring the sweet spot trade from here to here. So it's measuring from there to there. A, so that was a 62% retracement on that time frame. Does that make sense, everybody? Does everybody see what it's doing? Or on this signal, it's a 62% from this swing. Hit me a while if you understand what it's doing there, a few smaller time frames. And they are all produced there. It's, it's looking for smaller waves. Are we clear on that? Hit me a while if we're clear. I just don't want everybody to, you know, if I give you these signals where it smooths things out, then all of a sudden, well, let's get more trades. Let's get more trades. You can get more trades and just wait till it's on market profile and get more arrows if you want because it's looking at a sweet spot in the market according to that time frame. Okay? And that's what I want to show you today is that, like, the DAX trade is still short. It's, I mean, it just made a lot of people a lot of money this morning that knew to sell high value area with negative market delta on a reversal bar. And it's still cranking down with negative market delta. That's the difference between trading a longer time frame and a shorter time frame. Okay, the sound, um, the sound alert uh, to answer your question, Reed. I can't put it in the room. It will be on your own system. It will fire like a little bullet. Okay, it will fire like a little bullet. Sounds like a bullet, and that will be on your system when it fires. So, to me, my methodology. My, I mean, my. I, I'm a little bit different. I like to sort of position trade intraday a little bit more. So I go longer time frames. Okay, Jay, can you put a sound on a clear bar like the air? Oh, you mean the sound of the clear bar? Uh, actually, the um, you'll just have to see it. Uh, da, da, da. I could actually do it. Yeah, let me think about that, Randy. Uh, let me think about an audible alert for that because that, that that does make a, a lot of sense on it because that's a re possible reversal bar because the DAX it, it, it caught it beautifully on on the time frame. Yeah, I, I got you, man. I, I'm with you. So. If you look at the at the cubic inflection points on 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 Nasdaq futures right here, though, is this buy here, sell here, right? So you sell high value and you buy control point. It stopped it to the exact tick on both my high value and low value. So that's what I want to show you is that you, this is very universal software. Is that you can you can customize it to any market you want. It doesn't matter how volatile the market is because if you can tame a beast down like the DAX, you can tame any market down. And if you don't want a lot of signals in the NASDAQ futures, guess what? Pump up the Renko. Because a four or five sim Renko in the NASDAQ futures is going to give you too many signals. Right? So, or, or, or three sims. So if you want to pump it to an eight or a seven and only get a few signals, you can do that. Okay? That's the power of the system because it's looking at sweet spot swings. Okay, sweet spot swings. 